joins us on the phone from home with an update on the forecast. Hello, Angelica. Hi, Steve. Hi, Edo, and everyone who is at the station. We miss you. I know I do. And, you know, for a lot of us who are at home, our homes are turning into gyms and playgrounds, trying to keep everything together. So I wanted to share mine. There was a um, little Isaiah early this morning playing soccer in the house with Jasmine. So we're trying to make the best of it. We'll get through it, I know. And as we look through the uh, area, it's also much drier. What a great afternoon around the county. We had all that rain come through last night. Areas like Palmar ended up with more than two inches of rain. And cool air continues streaming over the county and over basically the entire state before the next cold front. You see it right there. That's a cold front right here. And it's going to be diving south, eventually bringing rain and snow into our area. So here's the breakdown as we look ahead. It's going to stay dry for at least Wednesday morning. The next storm will be arriving Wednesday night. Rain and snow expected with snow levels down to 3,500. So it's going to get pretty low. Julian could see snow by Thursday morning. 63 degrees right now in downtown San Diego. Sunset was at 7.03. And here's what our rain future cast looks like as we go into tomorrow. There's a chance for a pop-up shower. Can't rule it out, but most areas will stay dry. The next best chance will be Wednesday as the approaching front moves in. Colder air will be extending all over the Sierras and also bring in some... Uh, some cold air here in San Diego for our mountains to see snow. It'll range from uh, 3,500 feet to 7,000 feet with a trace to three inches. So Palmer Mountain and uh, Mount Laguna could see a lot more than areas like Julian. As far as rainfall in the coastal areas, we could see a tenth of an inch up to a half an inch. So not as much as last night or early this morning, but there's still plenty of rain on the way. Showers on Thursday lasting through nighttime by Friday will start to dry out. Heading into the weekend, it'll look much nicer with plenty of sunshine. The best day will be Sunday with temperatures getting closer to normal. Looking at next week on Monday, we're going to keep that warm up going and it's going to be really nice with those temperatures making it into the mid 70s around the county, inland communities, and even some mountains. So we'll have to Enjoy our backyards, as you said earlier, Steve, because it's going to be sunny, but we still have to stay at home. Back to you. Stay close to home. That's the key. Angelica, thank you. All right, as, as coronavirus spreads,